And uh, wait, while you're here, Tawan, why don't we uh, talk about last night's game? And uh, you guys, another, another, you guys, had, the defense has turned it on recently. 50 points for the K's, zero points. What are they? The Stars from Rich South. And uh, how was it? It was a lot of fun. We just went out there with a lot of intensity, and we were just ready to play. It was real cold. It was real muddy, and that kind of added to the intensity and made it more fun for us. So it was a lot of fun. What position do you play? I play wide receiver, and I'm on a lot of special teams. Too. Okay. Good, good. And uh, personally, what, did you feel good about what you did last night? Yeah, I think I went out there and tried my best. I think we all tried our best. That's why we were so victorious. With that. Very good. And so who is next on the agenda for you guys? Um, we have Rich Central. Rich Central, okay. So, um, what, what's the record to now at, for the it case? Five and two. Five and two. So that does that clinch a playoff spot when uh, you get to five wins? You know yet? Yeah, I think we're in the playoffs in now. The play. so. Okay, five and two. Another successful season for the case last year. Um, what year are you now, Tuan? I'm a senior. You're a senior. So you were on the varsity squad last year as well? No, I actually was not playing last. Year. Oh, you didn't play last year. So that that's one of the things that uh, having a successful team does. It you know gets other students motivated, and uh, now there's a, a is there a bigger crowd on the sidelines than there used to be at Kankakee High School? It is good. Well, that's that's definitely a good thing, and getting people active and involved in the uh, the whole high school football experience. Are you glad you did it? Yeah, I am. It's a lot of fun. We go out there a lot of things. It's, it's just real fun, especially with all teammates. Well, I think it's probably something that people look back on when they're uh, in their 30s or 40s or older, and they say, wait, I wish I would have done that at least one year just to see what it was like. Because later on in life, you don't get, very rare you get a chance to put on football pads and a good excuse to go spend a lot of time doing something like that. Yeah, that's why I just want to go in and have no regrets. Just make sure my high school experience was a lot of fun. So. Good, good. Well, Tuan, we hope to... Uh, so thank you for playing the part of Louie today, and uh, we wish the Kinky K's the best luck as the season continues. And, uh, of course, you'll hear more of the details on what happened last night to the K's as well as a lot of the other local squads with um, Roy Collins. We'll have the show right after us here on Talking in 13 Clay, talking to a lot of the coaches from around the area. And uh, we thank you, Juan, for uh, stopping by, wide receiver, special teams, specialist, or the, uh, the Kinky Key K's. Thank you. The Devin Hester, right? <laughs> Blowouts are always fun because everybody gets to play. Everybody gets to play. Everybody gets to play a lot. <laughs> and, you, and and they're probably that's a, that is a good, you know, when you get to play a lot, you get all those repetitions. Yeah. And the next time when you're called on to play more, you're ready. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna take a try to take a quick break now here on Talk AM 1320. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with. Uh, more of the Billy Yonka show here from the Farmer's Market. We'll talk about the uh, Michael Jackson Thriller Dance. It's going to be happening tomorrow in the Farmer's Market lot.